Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back again to Team Sport in Sheffield. This is the second session of my very disappointing visit. Click the link in the top right hand corner if you haven't seen the first session yet. Thank you to those of you who have subscribed to the channel. I see a lot of returning viewers, but they definitely don't match up for the number of subscribers to the channel. So please do consider subscribing to the channel. It'll help me grow. It would be really much appreciated. Please also do leave comments down below to give feedback on either my driving or the voiceover that I'm doing on these videos, whether you'd like to see me produce them slightly differently perhaps. All feedback will be taken on board as I'm pushed into the barriers here and the guy just refused to acknowledge the fact that I was there. So as we come round onto the first, or the end of the first lap, we come to a red flag and I come to a slow, controlled stop to then be shunted up the back. And the guy shouted, you came to a stop. I had nowhere else to go, or something along those lines. I'm like, there's an entire track. Rather than driving into the back of me, stop alongside me. I think he was complaining that I stopped at the bottom of the ramp, whereas actually you can stop going down a ramp. You just put your foot on the brake until it's ready to go again. No need to drive into the back of someone. That was ridiculous. Anyway, we're off again. So we won't get pent up on that, we'll just try and get past and see what we can do. I was released the fifth cart, I was the fifth cart to be released, there were four in front of me and on my outlap rather than just pacing myself I went for it and I managed to get past two of them. So there were only these two in front in the end, they were actually in front of me. and. I was hoping to get some clear space after the disappointing first session. This one was slightly better. Same number of carts again, 20 carts. So still a very busy track. But we just seem to have some clearer running this time. The slower carts were probably just less bunched up. Which makes passing them a lot easier. The two in front here are both members I believe, definitely the one directly in front and I'm pretty sure the one in front of him is also a member and was very very quick if that is the case. Oh no, it's actually the one in the front of the group, he's managed to make up that many positions. No, it's also not him, never mind. There's certainly one out there, a young kid, and he's very quick. I once again did get a bit of traffic and just got myself caught out with positioning myself wrong, thinking they were gonna to go to say the inside when I should have when I should have gone to the inside to get past quicker. Doesn't matter, end of the day, that's what this is about, is finding your way through the traffic and seeing what we can do as I'm jumping myself up the ramp there, just trying to not lose pace of this car in front. I think this is one of the fast ones. I can't tell we're not quite close enough to no, it's a red suit, so it's not him. Never mind. And I've caught up to the back of him. Ah yes, this was cart 17 in the first session. He was a fast driver. 17 or 12, something like that. He was definitely fast. But I definitely found ways past him. I experimented with lines in the last session, and I'm slightly happier with how I'm going. I now just need to be able to do some flat-out laps. This corner here, I've definitely decided that the late apex is the quicker way through. I was fortunate through here with going for the outside rather than the inside and it worked out for me on that case. These hairpins I'm always happy with anyway, just need to get the pace going up those ramps. They are. It feels so slow when you're driving up them. And this corner I've I've watched a few videos of those that I could find of like the British Indoor Karting Championship qualifiers as they were setting their qualifying laps. Those I've seen a few of those from the Sheffield track and I was watching them, but I was watching not where they were positioning the car and how they were driving the corner, 
as I've hugely hit that inside barrier there on what actually turns out to be my fastest lap regardless. But yes, I was watching not the cars and how they were driving it, I was watching their feet and seeing which corners they were and weren't braking for. One of the corners I now feel I've got right is this one, although that's not a very good example of it. I was able, I'm able to run the car wide and not actually use the brakes and just let the car slow itself. Still full throttle the whole time and the car will just slow itself down. Again, I was fortunate there, they kept, kept the inside so nice and cleanly passed. This section I know I'm quick, I always catch people through here. Even some very quick drivers I catch through there, so yeah, I'm very happy with that part. As I've set for one minute, one second, point three. It's not fast. And as I say, I did pelt that inside barrier on that corner last time around. That certainly didn't help my time as the car almost came to a stop. I position myself wrong, he went to the inside and then drifted back over, not knowing I was there. Probably cut him off slightly there, but serves him right really. As we come under a red flag, we'll come to a stop just around the corner so that I can see the light better, rather than seeing the pillar. I didn't skip the red flags in the last video, and there are so few in this, or few long ones. The lights flickered green and went yellow again, that was tempting to try and pass car 17 but didn't, as I saw some change back in time thankfully. Yeah, I didn't cut the red flags out on the last video, I was just so annoyed at that session, I filmed it all, but I did the voiceover and editing the day after, and I'm doing this on the same day, but it just, yeah, it got to me, even editing it, it still bugged me that session. So I didn't put as much effort in as I would sometimes. I hope it didn't come across too negatively on the video though. Yes, this session, whilst we still had the red flags, there were certainly fewer of them. Although, we do get frustrated towards the end and you'll see why shortly. So I managed to get a few fast laps in, they were fairly clear laps, they weren't. As I say, they weren't the quickest I've done, 1 minute 1, it is still slow, but I tend to need 3 or 4 laps to bring my pace right down to get where I'm really comfortable. And I was still experimenting with certain lines, certain corners, Let's see if I could improve them at all. A bit wide on the apex on that, I could have gone a bit tighter in, keeping the same radius. So it just means I was a bit late turning in slowing right down under the yellows and my left hand goes up to warn anyone behind me that I'm not going at full pace. And the flags actually turned red instead because they've decided they do need to fix the barriers. They're not in line. So the marshal just pulls them into shape there. It's always uh, interesting, I guess. Fun, maybe. When you see the marshals actually see the cause of the red flag and then you see the marshals actually doing what they need to be doing. And then as he's come back over the track here, you now know, or at least you suspect, it's about to turn yellow. What you don't expect to see is a cart come flying down the ramp, round one corner and past another stationary cart. It did eventually go yellow and we were released. You can see that queue of carts ahead now though. We got time for three more laps. So I've timed that quite well under the yellows, but someone else timed it even better. And I've just ended up pushed out. The car behind me, the blue suit there, was pushing me as I was trying to back off and make some space. So I decided rather than try and fight that huge queue of cars. I'm going to back right off, there is absolutely nothing behind me, I'm having a good look around the whole time, there's nothing, even all the way back to the corner, first corner there, there is nothing, so I have backed right off, and I'm going, right, next lap is going to be the lap, I'm going to go for it, and it's going to be green flags until the end of the session, 
it's just going to be good. So this session has been better, we've not had as many stops, so this will be able to do it. So I've paced off, I've paced off, I've slowed down, and I've now gone back on it again. I've decided here's the point, if I get back on it I can just get some any loss of temperature in the tyres, I can get it back, and I know there is one slow cart ahead. I'm really hoping I time it right. And I couldn't have timed that much better. Yes, I had to take a dive, but there was no contact. It was a clean, clean pass. And now I've got a clear track ahead of me, so we can go for it. Except we can't. You can hear the frustration there. That couldn't have been any worse. If the red flag was 20 seconds earlier, I wouldn't have crossed the line. And I'd have had time to do a clean green flag lap. So now is the moment where I have to think, do I back off for another lap so that I know I'm going to have at least an attempt at a clear lap? Before catching the carts, that pack of carts again. Or, as I decided to do, do I go for it, hope I don't catch them enough, hope I've left enough of a gap that the next lap I can get a clear lap in. And that's what I chose to do. Whether it was the right thing or not, I really don't know. As you know, I didn't set my fastest lap on the final lap, fastest lap time. So, it may have worked, it may not have. I caught another one of the slow carts, but again, I caught them at a place where I'm able to just stick it up the inside and get through without losing all that much time. With an almost identical lap time here with the stops of my original slow lap, I'm now going to go for it. One last attempt at it. We're clear so far. Although I've really screwed that corner up, I've turned in and the back end just went and now frustratingly I've pushed it too hard through there and caught the big drift and yeah I know this lap's ruined regardless of what happens whether it stays as green flags or not I've ruined the lap I've, I've got too big a slide through there I've, whether I lost too much temperature whether I've just pushed too hard I don't really know it's all irrelevant though as we've decided to go back under Another red flag. Very, very quick one. Sometimes I think they're a little overzealous with the red flags and things could have been done under yellows, but I guess it's team sports just being overly cautious as we went green to go yellow to then get smacked up the back because she hadn't spotted the yellow. Not the end of the world. It, it was frustrating and the whole session was frustrating. I've realised, I've seen that marshal there on the left with the chequered flag. I've realised what's happened. And I've just backed right out of it anyway and joined the back of the queue. It was frustrating. Very, very frustrating. This whole visit was. But I'll be back. You know I will. As always, guys, thanks very much for joining me. Please do like the video. Leave a comment down below, again, feedback on either my driving, the production of the videos, anything you want. I'll see you next time, and thanks for joining me. Cheers.